Hi, and with patch 7.2.5 now out, it's only a matter of weeks before the patch 7.3, where we go to Argus, will be coming out on the PTR. This may also include details of which bosses we are going to be facing in the Argus raid, which of course is unlikely to come out for 7.3, but probably 7.3.5 going along with the same pattern as Legion has been so far. But the burning question, <laughs> get it, burning Legion? Uh, for a lot of people is, is Sargeras going to be the final boss? Now I'm going to preface this by saying, in my opinion, I don't think it will be. But what I'm most sure of is I don't think it should be. However, there are a lot of compelling arguments for it, um, which I'm going to go through as well as my arguments against it. At the end of the day, though, I can only be proved wrong. Um, we might find out in a few weeks that I'm wrong. But of course, it could be one of those things where he's not one of the bosses in the Argus raid. But just like they pulled out a Trial of Valor for us, which we weren't expecting, they may pull out a shorter raid at the end of the Argus raid as well. Who knows? But... The arguments in favour of Sargeras being the last boss of Legion is that it could be argued that the Legion thing is wearing a bit thin now. In the pre-World of Warcraft lore, it seemed to be that the Legion would attack every few thousand years. Um, and once defeated, you had a fair amount of time before you had to defeat them again. Now we seem to be having to fight them every few years. Uh, they're getting a lot more rapid, these ones. And again, it, it almost becomes Horde and Alliance are largely irrelevant, and it was always about the Legion. There are also lots of heavy hints about Illidan. The Illidan character was completely retconned for Legion. The way Illidan is being presented in Legion is completely at odds with the law that existed beforehand, so they've changed all that. And he's described as being someone who is destined to end the day of the demons or the time of the demons. Also, we're returning to Argus. Now, it's not quite the seat of Legion power as such, but it is the birthplace of Sargeras's two lieutenants, Kiljaden and Archimonde. And, well, speaking of which, we've already had a, a situation now where we've fought and killed Archimonde. We sort of defeated him at the Battle of Mount Hydral in TBC, but that was really a, a knock-on effect of Warcraft 3. But we're told that when we defeated him in Hellfire Citadel that that was it. It was a little confusing because we're told that demons can only be properly killed in the Twisted Nether. And when you did it on LFR Normal and Heroic Mode, you never went into the Twisted Nether. But even when you did it on Mythic mode where you did and you defeated him there, everyone suddenly got teleported back out again. So, um, and in the cutscene, you can clearly see Archimonde is sort of still alive on Drenor as he chucks Gul'dan into the portal. So, all very confusing, but Blizzard did seem to indicate that he is now out of the picture. And we certainly don't want the same baddie coming back over and over again, do we? Kill Jaden. We've sort of fought him before, but we didn't kill him uh, in TBC. We just stuffed him back down his hole. We, we never actually were supposed to have killed him. This time round, we are going to be doing that. Again, all very confusing. Um, I don't really know. We don't know what it's going to be like on Mythic, I suppose. But not really in the Twisted Nether, is it? It's supposed to be on Azeroth. So what that will mean, I don't know. But we will be in a situation where we will have very rapidly killed off Sargeras' two main lieutenants. There's no other, like, Eridar or demons or anything like that who look like they're going to be replacing them. So Sargeras' representatives uh, on Azeroth seem to be going away. So you could argue that that is very much building up for a fight with the big guy. The next expansion is heavily rumoured, 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 not saying it is, to be old gods related. And these are the Void Lords' weapons. The Old Gods were sent to Azeroth by the Void... Well, sent out all over the place. A bit like Empire Strikes Back, where the Empire sends out loads of probe droids um, just trying to find the Rebels. Same sort of thing. They sent out these entities um, in the hope of finding embryonic titans. Well, these particular ones seem to have found one. So they exist to try and sort of destroy the planet. And uh, the Void Lords are very much... The other existential threat, uh, certainly you could argue. So we can do away without the Legion. I always argue that the Legion is this big existential threat, which is our common enemy. Uh, so 
we can create raids based around them very easily because there's an obvious reason why both Horde and Alliance would want to do them. Obviously, when you have too much Horde versus Alliance, that would suggest you need to design different raids for each one. Well, that's not going to happen. So you need this common enemy, and they provide a really good one. The Void Gods potentially would as well. The other thing is that there is a prophet of Valen uh, that was done in a book some time ago, now years ago now, where he describes Anduin leading an army of the light which has also been mentioned in Legion, on Argus into the Void as if he's going on the attack. And that's very much what we're gearing up for. We know that we don't know very much about Argus, and this is why a lot of this speculation has come about, because in the vacuum of, of knowledge, we don't know anything about it. We're obviously speculating. It's fun to speculate. Anduin has been bigged up, major style, in this one. He's very much, He's now got his father's sword. He's going from priest to paladin, um, so we, and when we know that we're going to go to Argus to go on the offensive, so we are going from a defensive position, which is what's been so far, and not just in Legion, but in the whole of Warcraft history, you know, it's always been a defensive, um, fight against the Legion. Now we're going on the attack. So again, you could very much argue that this is being ramped up. So it all sounds quite compelling to a lot of people, and I can well understand that. And it may be true. It may be true. We may soon find out. But against it, what are some arguments against it? A lot of these are my arguments against it. One is that I do feel we need a common enemy for gameplay purposes. For raids, for dungeons, we need that common adversary that gives the Horde and the Alliance an obvious reason to go there. The Legion is a really good one. The Void Lords, although in law terms, would also be a really good one. A lot of World of Warcraft players who don't really read about the lore outside of the game will know very little about them. They're hardly ever mentioned. Um, even the old, when you do stuff to do with the old gods, it's not really ever explained, or not explicitly explained, in my opinion, in the game, exactly where these guys came from. Uh, we know that, that the Titans weren't very happy with them, that even Sargeras isn't happy with them, but we don't really know where they came from. We only know that from lore books. And a lot of World of Warcraft players don't read those lore books. So you risk doing what they did in Mop. Now, I thought Mop was brilliant, Mr. Pandaria, because we had genuinely new lore. It wasn't just regurgitating the same old stuff. I mean, TBC was all about, like, Illidan and the Legion. Well, we'd had that in Warcraft uh, 3, especially. Um, Wrath of the Lich King was, of course, all about Scourge and the Lich King. Warcraft 3, it was all sort of borrowing this old lore. Cataclysm, okay, there wasn't much about the aspects in the game. There's a little bit in Warcraft 2. But, again, it was it was already covered in books and stuff like that, so it was very much in the lore. So it was always reusing old lore. Mop, genuinely new lore. But do you know what? A lot of people didn't like it. I remember Preach doing a video going, I don't care about these uh, enemies these guys were fighting in these raids because I don't know who they are. Which is not a view I shared, but it is a view that was shared by a great many players. So are they really going to go and kill off the Legion or effectively end them as, a, as a, an enemy and put all their eggs into the one basket of this, what is for a lot of people a new enemy they don't know a lot about? Sure, they can come up with lots of quests and storylines to explain them. What if people don't take to it? What if we get the same arguments? I just don't care. I don't know who these guys are. No matter what foes we have fought uh, in, in World of Warcraft, Everything we fought has been in against the backdrop of the Burning Legion. Like everything. Even the Scourge was a Burning Legion plan. Uh, El Illidan was very much driven by the Burning Legion. Um, you know, the Dragon Flights it, it wouldn't have even been really all that necessary were it not for the Burning Legion. All of these things are caused by the fact that the Burning Legion is a thing. Because, I mean, okay, the Old Gods is also a big threat there, but the Titans would have had that well under control. Obviously, they learnt their lesson, you can't kill them, but they can control them. Burning Legion is what is our main existential threat. And if you kill them, if you finish them off, my fear is that it becomes a bit like the end of The Lord of the Rings. If you read the book, not so much the film, but the book. So Sauron falls. Now, in the film, they sort of polish off the rest of it fairly quickly. It still takes a little while, I suppose. But in the book, there's, there's still other things to do. Um, you know, there's there's more storyline. But it was always on the downward slope. It's not that interesting. After you've defeated Sauron, do we really need to be reading about an army of hobbits taking back their holes? Not really. And the argument could be that the same sort of thing happens here. If you actually defeat Sargeras 
And I don't just mean give him a bloody nose, but actually properly defeat him. Are you going to risk that situation where it all feels a bit of a letdown after that? And then perceptions start to arise, oh, World of Warcraft's on its way out. That is certainly not what Blizzard want, I am sure. I always thought that the end of the Legion would be a good storyline for when they do want to finish World of Warcraft and go on to the next in the Warcraft series. But it is all speculation. We may find out, I may be proved wrong in a few weeks' time when the PTR comes out. If I look in the raid journal and start to see the names of bosses, if it's got Sargeras at the end, even if we don't kill him, just even fighting him uh, is something that, I, as I say, I don't, well, I don't think should be done. I don't think would be done, but I'm not sure. Um, so I could easily be proved wrong very, very quickly. We will find out in a few weeks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below as usual. If you found this enjoyable, don't forget to subscribe for further content. And until next time, I'll see you later.